The Mieti Alakato Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magban, has said the global pandemic known as coronavirus has become its nemesis in the Southeast market. Southeast chairman of Magban, Magban Alaji Gidadu Sidiki, told newsmen in Oka, Anambra State that Igbos no longer patronize them the way they used to as a result of COVID-19. He said the issue is no longer the headers and communities again, but the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic, which had caused lockdown in the country. He said, in compliance with the COVID-19 protocols, the outbreak of the pandemic had stopped ceremonies such as burial, marriage ceremonies, among others, in Igbo land, where they make huge seas. According to him, the coronavirus disease outbreak is seriously affecting our business. We no longer sell house like we used to because people no longer celebrate marriages and burials like before. These are some of the events that give us sales. Again, cows have become expensive due to high cost of transportation. Our volume of sales has gone down very much. He regretted that most of his members were not adhering to the rules of social distancing, hand washing among others, despite repeated sensitization. I and members of my leadership take the awareness message to them where they are in the bush to show them how to wash hands and what and that we have to join hands with other people to eradicate the virus which is threatening our business. They urged Muslims to relate harmoniously with everyone irrespective of their creed in the spirit of the lesson learned during the Ramadan. He also commended the governors of the Southeast and the people of the area for giving them the enabling environment to do their business. Okay. I think uh, this uh, Magban, the Magban, Magban chapter in the Southeast, okay, they are concentrating on uh, Southeast because I would have like, uh, uh, is it the only South, is it only Southeast people that uh, consume uh, cows and do parties and all manner of things? Okay, I got to understand that maybe they have, you know, that they have a, their branches or they have their different, different people, uh, whatever. Yes, now let me say their branches all over the country in each state. So maybe these people are talking about the southeast uh, zone, the Magban in that area. They are the ones complaining. So, so they know that they can come out with this kind of a, a preaching or oh, telling their people to do this, to do this, to do that, and yet. When your people are doing no manner of things, you don't come out outrightly to condemn it. That oh, you are going to fish out to those people who are spoiling your name because you are saying you don't even know anything about this esme, this and that. The only thing you will see come out and tell us that hey, your people have the right to go about with uh, to go with a uh, AK forty seven because they are protecting themselves, and which you know what has been happening. You uh, you you quite understand that majority of the people in Nigeria are saying oh. Fulani people have been peaceful. We've lived together for a very long time. But all of a sudden, things changed. And you expect them to continue believing in that kind of a thing. And if really they've been giving such testimonies, everybody's just always that. Ah, these people used to live together. We play with them and nothing happened. So all of a sudden, things are beginning to change. And yet, you guys could not even fish out those people where they are coming from. Whether uh, it's as a result of people coming from uh, other countries. Because even the same Miesi Allah spoke on national uh, 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 television saying that uh, they are bringing or they are even threatening and uh, their people will be coming they have the land they have the this and that they are the other you are hearing all of those things and you expect the people to be happy with you so it's because of a uh, COVID-19 I and mean, meanwhile in that case they've told their people in some communities they've told their people stop eating cow meat stop eating it's not even healthy for you if you are uh, above 30 it's not good for you some people think it's a, a, a it's enjoyment or it shows that uh, you are <laughs> you are wealthy. It, it, it's not even good for you. So if they if you have not done party, you they have not kid car. Oh, these people they have not arrived. It goes beyond that. And apart from that, these people even if it's good for your health and 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 you are your your life at risk or at stake, you you forfeit it. If something is even giving you pleasure and at the end of the day, it wants to take advantage of you, take advantage of your life. You 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 fashy the thing. You snub the thing. Not to talk of even in the first place, it's not even good for your health. So, if they are coming out to say, oh, because of COVID-19, there will be no COVID-19, people should even stop eating or consuming cow meat. Now, they are complaining about uh, COVID-19. And meanwhile, 
they are, you, are, you are not even condemning. They are not condemning the attitude of those people who are hiding under trucks, all in the name of bringing uh, food items to the southeast or to the south south. No, you are not condemning that. A lot of atrocities, people who have been killed in the in the process. What is happening in South Carolina? Whether you are the bandit or, or yes, man, I don't know. But you are. They are not always coming out to condemn it. If you are condemning it, just the way the people have been singing your praises. Almost everybody in Nigeria have been singing their praises. That you know, in those days, that these people used to be peaceful. But all of a sudden, what happened? And you could see the arrogance in them. You know, showing that okay, you guys have changed, or maybe there's an agenda. Well, that is a a different story altogether. But when things are going wrong, they should come out and condemn it. Not because of a COVID-19 alone. That's just my own opinion. So guys, let's hear what uh, other people are saying concerning the complaint of this uh, Miyeti Allah. Hmm. Okay, Eastern governors, we are eagerly awaiting for a law restricting indigenous people from celebrating burial and event with cow or its meat for peace to reign. This Fulani should please leave and relocate to other base. I cannot keep yam and goats in one room. Okay, we are planning to abort eating of cows completely. If these issues of Hesme and the support that they are enjoying from federal government persist, this Igbo, the Igbos we are talking about here, this is Igbo we are talking about here, take your cows and go back to north. We can come there and buy. I think that was what uh, they were even planning before that they should go just leave their this thing and put it over there that they can just be bringing if they feel that it's because of the grass because they believe that uh, the grass in the south is the grasses are sweeter than the ones they have there that you can just go buy the grass and take it back to your place over there which we create more uh, peaceful environments but what did the governors do all of a sudden we didn't hear anything again concerning that because that was what they were planning Someone says here that uh, why should they patronize you when you are killing them? No more eating of cow in southeast and south south. The southerners and easterners should stop buying or eating cow. This will make Fulani Esme to relocate quickly. You will not just record losses very, very soon. No single person will ever buy cows from you again. The cows you value more than human lives. I stop eating your useless cow. You are killing people terrorizing everywhere with federal government's cover i am a yoruba woman i'm not eating a uh, cow since three years because of the wickedness of esme anyone who has a compound in the east and south should be breeding cattle whether two or three is it by force to eat cow meat even though doctor has already said that the red meat is not good for the body take all the cows to sambisa forest the way the S men are killing people. The people that gave them cattle to nurture are happy. They are different type of animal. Someone can eat without eating cow. If people do not eat cow, there will be peace. The government leading us in the south and east should help us put fish in the river. Hmm. That is the best way and that is the right thing to do. Okay. May this remain permanent because it is because of this same cow that many have gone to their early graves. Cow is a common thing that people can do without, especially, of course, and that's it. It's just people who have a longer throat. Uh -huh. You don't want to go away with, do away with, with cow. Uh -huh. You see the results. The Southwest should follow suit by rejecting cow meat. Fulanis are enemy of common sense and well-being. Stop buying the yeye cows outrightly we don't want cow from zoo the irony of the whole thing is that fulanis don't eat cow meat they eat ram meat so i think this simple solution of south not buying cows will put an end to wanting killing of a innocence of the innocence please let there be quick loss immediately following this covid-19 that will stop eating of cow meat entirely in, in uh, the south is Okay, they should go back to their north to rear their katsu. Massive production of our native goats can replace Fulani's cow. And they are even sweeter. Yeah. Okay, someone say for me, I have stopped eating cow meat. I'm so happy I did. Stop eating cow meat. 
because it is not good for your human health. Rear different types of animals, including fish, and eat them, then encouraging Fulani to come and destroy your farmland, killing and maiming innocent farmers on their land. Thanks for the information. I will stop eating cow too to help your bad market more. <laughs> I hope oh, a lot of people will be able to do that. Some people with a longer throat and you'll be complaining. You know, by the time you discourage them from bringing cow to that place, at least you have a, a relative peace. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comments below and let's have your take. Thank you.